Hi, it's Barbara. Welcome back to Wikidesign. Today we're going to talk about e-commerce sites in WordPress. One of the requests that we keep getting is for more content related to the WooCommerce system, which is WordPress's solution to e-commerce websites. I can totally understand why people are requesting this type of content. WooCommerce is a pretty confusing platform to use. Even for a seasoned developer and designer like myself, I find this platform pretty confusing and there isn't a lot of great documentation on how to customize it. If you don't know how to code, it really is kind of impossible unless you use a tool like Elementor. So today's video is going to talk about the ways we can customize WooCommerce product page templates using the Elementor page builder. Now, if you're new here, we are big fans of the Elementor page builder. It is what we use to build all of our clients' websites, and we've developed several e-commerce websites using Elementor, and the results have been really great. One of the things that I really like about the Elementor page builder is that it gives people the ability to customize their product pages without having to know how to code. The widgets for WooCommerce are built into the platform and you can really customize your layout of product pages, of your shop template, of a bunch of different things in WooCommerce without ever having to touch a line of code. This is really nice for us because our clients are very hands-on and they like to be able to make updates themselves. We can allow them to do that without ever having to know how to do HTML or PHP or anything like that. By default, the product page templates in WooCommerce are kind of boring. They don't really give you a lot of functionality or a lot of customization. And if you don't use something like Elementor, you definitely would have to know how to do a lot of HTML or PHP code in order to make those customizations happen. So today I'm going to walk you through how to customize a product page template in Elementor. And I think you're just going to love all the capabilities that this platform has. So let's get started with the tutorial. Before we get started with customizing our product page template, I wanted to show you what the page looks like by default. I went ahead and uploaded some testing products into a staging environment, and this is what the product page looks like by default. We have our breadcrumb navigation, we have our image. If we hover over this image, we do get this nice zoom effect. On the right hand side, we have some information about the product. So the title, the price of the product, a short description, the ability to add it to the cart. We have our SKU and our category. And then if we scroll a little bit down towards the bottom, we have reviews and description tabs. That gives us a little bit of a longer description. And then below that, we have some related products. So by default, this isn't terrible. But if you do want to do some customization, you don't really have the ability to do that unless you know how to code. So if we wanted to add a nice header image to this or add something below the related products or something to the footer, we really couldn't do that unless we knew how to code. So one of the great things about using Elementor to create product page templates is that we have the ability to really customize this. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. We will be creating a template in Elementor for this. Now this is something that is available with Elementor Pro. Elementor Pro has all of the WooCommerce integration built in. So if you're using the free version of Elementor, you won't have this level of customization. I do recommend getting the pro version of Elementor. It's definitely worth the money that you pay for it per year. Not only do you get all the customizations and extra widgets, but you get tons of pre-designed templates built into the platform. So if you aren't the greatest designer, you can use those templates as a starting point. So definitely worth it. But we are going to go to templates and we're going to hit add new. 
And then from there, we're going to click where it says single product because we are going to be creating a single product template. We can name our template whatever we want. I'm just going to call this one single product and then hit create template. Now from here, like I mentioned before, there are some different starter templates available in the pro version that can give you a really good guideline for where to place things on your product template page. You can choose to use these as a starting point if you want. I am going to create mine from scratch. I'm actually going to X out of this. And now we're going to have a blank canvas to work from. All we have here is just the header and the footer of my website. Everything else is a blank slate. And you can see on the left hand side, we have some product widgets that are showing up over here. So when you create these product templates, these widgets will show up at the top because those are the elements that you're probably going to need for your template. You can see that there's a lot of different things available. So what I like to do is just kind of go ahead and start playing with different layouts. So just like any other Elementor page, we can create our sections and adjust things accordingly. I'm going to create a two column section to start. And then from there, I'll click on that left hand side column. And I want to pull over my product images here. So what this does is it pulls in the images from my product in WooCommerce. So when I set up my products, I add images to that product and that's what will show up here. Now on the right hand side, we can add some more widgets and I'm going to go ahead and drag over my product title to that area. And I'm gonna go back to my widgets and I'm going to pull over and add to cart button. What I really like about the fact that we have all of these widgets broken up in Elementor is that I can really style this however I want. All of the different functionality that's built into the customizer in Elementor is available for these widgets. So I can click this button and I can style it however I want. I can change the background color. I can change the borders. I can change what it's going to look like on hover. It really is a nice way to style everything versus having to do this line by line in CSS code. So I'm going to take some time to design this page the way I want, and then I'm going to come back and we're going to go over what I did. Okay, so I have created a product template and I've dragged over a bunch of different Elementor widgets that are for WooCommerce. So we can really customize these layouts however we want and it just makes it look a little more professional, a little more polished, and I just love the fact that it's super easy to add these different elements using the Elementor page builder. If I didn't have this builder, it would take me a lot longer to create a custom product layout like this. I do have the ability to check what things look like on a mobile device, and on a tablet, none of that has changed. It's all built into Elementor. If you're familiar with the editor, you already know this and probably have used this before. So after checking, I am ready to publish. Now, once I hit publish, there are a couple options that will come up. I do have a few options on how I can display my template. If I select products, the template that I just created will be the template that is used for every product on the site. I do have the option to make them category specific. I can make it the child product category. So if I have a category and then a child of that category, I can create a specific template just for that. I also have the ability to use this template 
for tags or by products from a specific author. So we do have a few different options for how we can display our template. And what's really cool about this is that if we wanted to create a different template for a specific category or a specific tag or a specific author, we can do that very easily. And we just have to create another template and then customize that according to how we want it to look. I'm going to select products and now this template that I've just created will be the layout for all of the single products on the site. So if I hit that and then hit save and close, that will then publish my template. So all of the products on the website are now using this template that I've created. If we click on another product, you can see that the same template is being used. So what's really great about this is that we can go in and edit this template over time very easily. If we wanted to add some different sections and really build out the product pages with things like video or more product galleries, this is very easy to do. Your customers can really give you some feedback on how they would like your site to function. So these are things that you can easily go in and add to your product template over time. And again, if we wanted to create a specific product template for a specific category, we could do that using Elementor. We just have to create a brand new template and then select a specific category for that template. And once we do that, all of those products under that category will then show a different template. So there is a lot of customization available and Elementor makes it really easy to do this. I've gone ahead and created another product page template for the specific category of clothing. And you can see that there are a few differences here. The title has changed from shop to apparel. I've used the short description here and then i have a section down here with the long description and a tab for reviews if we go back to our old template you can see it says shop here it uses the long description here and it doesn't have those tabs we can really customize these product page templates based on category tags or author to really give them a completely different look. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to really do this and just do some subtle differences for this specific category. That's it for today's video. I hope that you found this helpful. And if you want more content related to WooCommerce and Elementor, let me know in the comments and I'll consider making a video on that subject. If you like videos like this, be sure to give this one a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel because we're doing a lot of content around things like this. Web design, Elementor, WordPress, and online business tips. We're publishing videos several times a week, so stick around if you like this type of content. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.